Thank you for tuning in to this video example of using the Economic Mobility Data Infrastructure Dashboard. In this example, we will explore mental health and see how we can use the data search functionality of the dashboard. To start, we are on the dashboard homepage. Suppose you have an issue you would like to explore, but it spans multiple capitals, or you aren't sure which capital it would fall under. You can use the data search functionality on the measures table under the data and methods tab. For this example, we will explore mental health in Virginia, and specifically, we will investigate how access to mental health services corresponds to the prevalence of mental health across the state. So let's type mental health in the search bar. We get back three measures related to mental health that span two capitals, human and social. At this point, we can explore each measure to try to uncover data insights. Let's focus on the last two, the number of mental health providers and the percent of the population with frequent mental distress. First, let's look at the number of mental health providers. To get there, we need to go to the Human Capital tab and look at the Health Index. We scroll down to the Health Measures and choose Mental Health Providers. In the box plot, we can focus on points by their index of relative rurality. Double-clicking a specific category on the legend will keep those points on the plot. A single click on a different category will now add those points to the plot. We can also zoom in on a specific area. Looking at the box plot, we notice that urban counties mainly have more mental health providers per 100,000 people than those counties that are in between urban and rural. Most urban counties fall in the top half of this measure whereas in-between counties tend to fall in the lower half. Let's move on to the second mental health measure we want to explore, the percent of the population with frequent mental distress. We need to go to the Social Capital tab, click on the Isolation Index, and then choose the corresponding measure. In this box plot, we see that urban counties tend to have lower percentages of people with frequent mental distress although we do note that we have missing data for the Virginia cities in gray on the map. All urban counties except one score in the lowest quartile for this measure, while counties in between urban and rural tend to score in the upper three quartiles. From the map, we note that relative to the rest of the state, Southern Virginia appears to be affected the most by frequent mental distress. So now, Let's put together our insights from both of the mental health measures that we explored, specifically looking at the maps of mental health providers and frequent mental distress, we note the following. Northern Virginia has a large number of mental health providers per 100,000 people and a low percentage of people with frequent mental distress. The same pattern can generally be seen around Richmond. While Southern Virginia appears to be most affected by frequent mental distress, there are six counties in Southwestern Virginia that score in the fourth highest quintile for the number of mental health providers per 100,000 people. So, despite a good number of mental health providers, Lee County and Scott County still fall in the top quintile of percentage of people with frequent mental distress, and Smythe County, Wythe County, and Tazewell County fall in the second highest quintile for the same measure. We also observe that the social isolation index map is very similar to the frequent mental distress map. Southern Virginia, and in particular the counties we mentioned in southwestern Virginia, experience more social isolation than northern Virginia and Richmond. Using the data in the dashboard, we have been able to explore mental health in Virginia and in particular, compare differences in urban, rural, and in-between counties. These insights could potentially lead to discussions about where to focus mental health efforts or how to make them more accessible. I hope you have enjoyed this video.